Hey guys, buddy, get again. Welcome back to more Steam Saturdays. Last week, I. Huh. I'll be honest, I kind of forgot what I did in this episode. We're playing Grim's Hollow. Let's go ahead and get this started. Now, I think if memory serves right. Uh, I got hit by that. Okay. for spirit energy. What? Timmy? Are you still there? Oh my god, Lavender! What's with your eyes? Lavender? Are you okay? You, you can't be a ghost, Timmy. Lavender... Crying, Lala. Oh. Tim? Yeah? Hide inside my pocket, and whatever you do, do not come out until I say so. Stay invisible, otherwise, I don't know if I can protect you. Is that clear? Okay. Dude. There you are. Where were you? I was worried sick. Just figuratively speaking, that is. I can't be sick. Uh, I went for a walk. Wanted to stretch my legs. I see. Well, now that you're up, I may as well invite you for tea. I don't suppose you mind walking a bit further? I want to rest first. Ah, well, my home is on the right to the inn. Drop by any time. So I'm guessing we can go in here and sleep. And then go to see the Grim. We'll see, though. We'll see. Oh, no. Sleep right here. Right? Or do I do it right here? No? Huh. I could have sworn there was a way to, like, heal up. Oh, well. Obviously not. Anyways, four minutes in, we found our little Timmy brother. That's kind of sad. Hello. So, Lavender, which of these treats are your favorite? Is it a cookie or cake? Or are you into muffins or donuts? The baker is dying to know. Wait, that's not the correct word. Pardon me. He is eager to know, yes. Honestly, in real life, my favorite's a donut. Yes, donuts are to die for, aren't they? Mr. Grimm, I got a question. No need for formality. You can call me Grimm. Ask away. Can a ghost or reaper ever... 
ever live again? No. Unless... Unless? They had a soul. I don't understand. Don't we have souls? No, I'm afraid you're all just spirits. There's, there's a difference. When you die, your soul disintegrates because you don't need it anymore. All that's left is a spirit, which makes you either a ghost or a reaper. But every now and then, there are beings who arrive here with a soul completely intact. Normally, when this happens, I re redirect them back to life. This is a rare occurrence, however. Anyways, more or long tea? Yes, please. Or long tea? It smells nice. Do you have any more questions? Why were you mad about the balloons? <laughs> oh, you remember that? Well, I wanted to throw the party first. I was going to set up balloons in this room right here, but when I looked in the closet, all my balloons were gone. Are you a god? No, I'm certainly not. As far as my powers go, I can teleport a certain distance. But, and I can reap ghosts very well, but other than that, I can't do a lot of things. I can't beg, for example, such an amazing thing, food. How did I die? I don't know that, I'm afraid. I don't see anything much that happens on Earth. What happens after I pass on? My guess is as good as yours. I have never seen the afterlife, only delivered spirits to it. I'm good. You know, usually new reapers don't tend to believe any of this is real. If they do, they start assuming we are a cult. I'm not sure why. It's the masks? But it seems you've taken to the idea rather quickly. That's because I saw Timmy as a ghost after that. And so I feel rather concerned. Does he know? What are you trying to say? Simply whether you're alright, Lavender. I care about all my Reapers, yourself included. I'm... I'm alright, really. Very well. Baker, you didn't need to sneak into my closet for ingredients, you know. But you looked busy, and I was running out of flour. How would you like teaching Lavender to reap? I mean, I would like to help. But, you know, I, I don't fight Grim. You'd be better off asking someone else. You won't have to fight anyone. What if they faint? You're the fastest person in the hollow next to me. You can run out of there carrying them. Well, okay. Excellent. Lavender, whenever you're ready, talk to the baker at the bakery. I'm going to put away the ingredients. See you later, Lavender. Alright, bye-bye. See you later. So now we just gotta get out of here and go to the bakery. Psst, sis, I need to talk to you. You peek down into your hoodie pocket. What that guy said about having a soul, I had one too. But Timmy, everyone used to have that. No, but I had one when I arrived. What? I remember waking up in a cave and when I looked down, I looked like a person, like I used to. And everything was kind of glowy, like a greenish glow. But then other ghosts came into the cave, and they were scary, and they started chasing me, I started, so I started running. Then I blacked out. When I woke up again, I felt light and couldn't see myself. I think my soul is still here, Lavender. Somehow, I can feel it. Maybe that ghost took it. I believe you. I'll try to find it. Thanks, sis. Now shush, I need to go... I need to go. I'll look crazy if I'm caught talking to my pocket. You look crazy anyway. You stick out your tongue and immediately close your pocket. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is so funny. This game is really sad though. Hello. Oh, hey, Lavender. I just finished setting up to go. Are you ready? Yes. Cool. 
Oh, I almost forgot. Here, you can have this. Two donuts. My gut instinct said you might be into them. Oh, um, thanks. <clears throat> did Grim give you- Did Grim give you a scythe? Honestly, he's a bit forgetful sometimes. Yeah, I got a scythe. Just not from Grim. Okay, so we're going to second cave that's on the top of the hill. Let's get going. Baker joins you. So we gotta get to the second cave that's on the top of the hill. So right here? Right, Lavender. I'm going to teach you how to reap a goat. Or you could just do that. Is that it? Well, no. If you close your eye sockets, then you can use the... I closed my eyes. I think I'm doing it. I don't think there's much else for you to teach me, Baker. Once he's gone. Slow down, newbie. I'm not going leaving until we, well, you clear this cave. Every newbie does it. Besides, I need to take care of you if you faint. Oh, and on top of that, there's something I want to show you. Hmm? What is it? I can't tell you. It's a surprise. Lead the, lead the way, Lavender. Okay, before I do that, though, I'm going to see if I have any skills I can upgrade. I have 39 in total. Nope. Let's see here. Sure, we'll learn Shatter. Anything else, though? Nope. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Resilience. We'll learn that. Very nice. And I think that will be it. Yeah, we'll enhance our speed, too. Why not? Do that, too. And that's the last one. Alright, let's go. 12 minutes in, down the cave we go. Alright, new fight. Hornets. Swing. Alright, don't need to do that just yet. And ali -oop. Okay. Man, those things are fast, and they attack a lot of times too. Um, tears. There we go. Ghost faded away. Got some spirit energy for doing that. Alright, got four for free. And I'm gonna go ahead and eat a cookie. Because no need to waste it if I don't have to. Back in here. Uh, 13 minutes in, this game is really fun, actually. I like it. Alright, fights. I'm guessing swing the shield and a loop. See how much that does. One stab. All right. Uh, special strength. There we go. Whoa, that hurt. All right, go ahead and swing at you. There we go. Stab. Oof. Okay. Uh, Swing at you. Try that again. I might have to do pierce. Nope, not even. I'll be fine. Ugh. Dude, this level's kind of creepy. Alright, there we go. Oh, shoot. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Alright, uh, fights. Uh, pocket. Uh, spooky cookie. Eat that. Stay alive. We're getting pretty close to the end of this episode, so what I'm thinking is we'll go ahead and end off this fight. And then next time on uh, Steam Saturdays, we'll play something else. See you guys later. Eat bananas. Whoa. Do it. 
And there we go. I am now out. All right. Bye-bye.